Sup guys. <laughs> But I'm frustrated. I worked on this for 15 hours on how to connect the controller to MUVR. Nobody talks about this. Nobody teaches you how to do it. So I'm going to teach you how to do it because I was just that frustrated. Here's where you're going to need for this. It's not going to be a long video, so you can just get on to playing VR games. Quest 3S. Nintendo Switch Remote. For what game you want to play. PlayStation 4 Remote. Now, I like playing PlayStation games with the native PlayStation remote. That's always how I've done it. That's the best nostalgia you'll get from the system. So, PS4 controller. Now, you're going to download an application called DS4 Windows. It's going to look just like this. Holding this just like that, that's what the logo looks like. You're going to download it, and you're going to emulate the controller as Xbox 360. How do you do this? I am going to teach you right now. So, you are going to open the RAR file. Um, ba -da -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I gotta look for it. You're gonna open the RAR file. Click on files. Then you're gonna go on to ds4windows.exe if you just open the file. You can click it, it'll work anyways, you don't have to extract it. Then the controller is gonna come up. In controllers, it's gonna come up on controllers right here. And it'll come up with a name right there. And when you see edit right there, hit edit. When you hit edit, you want to go, I want to make sure this is connected so I can actually see what's going on because I can say it through Word a lot easy, but um, showing it, it's difficult, especially when you have a phone. I could screen record it, but it's going to be too much. I don't need to do that. So you go to other and then emulate controller. It's going to be on top where it says visual controller settings, emulated controller. Do not put it to DualShock 4 because it will not emulate. Put it to Xbox 360. It will emulate the same way as a PlayStation controller. It will just pop up as an Xbox 360 controller, which natively in MUVR, it will notice. If you try to bring this controller and connect it and turn on MUVR, it will not read this. It will read it as an Xbox controller, Xbox 360 controller. It will read it as that. And it will work. So I'm going to show you right now how it works um, with the PlayStation 4 controller. It's already guaranteed if you get this and you plug it in, it will work with MUVR. Because it does recognize the Nintendo Switch controller as a native controller. But the PlayStation 4 controller, it doesn't. You have to emulate it as an Xbox 360 controller. MUVR is loading. I'm going to grab two remotes. Turn around. Go this way. Go that way, open this, put the game we got. Oh, no, we're not trying to grab the whole console. Truck to me, no. We got Mortal Kombat and we're getting in there, and this is perfect. So that's going to turn on. Right trigger. And then you're going to hit X on your PlayStation remote. That's connected already. When it lights up green, that means it's ready to connect a controller. Rust this process up a little bit. Gonna look for a memory card. And the main issue that I had with this is that the select buttons would not work. But I realized doing it this way through DS4 Windows, it has worked for me to make the select button work again. So as you can see, I hit start, it asked me for something else, and I hit X. So it's working properly. I hit X, it's working, hit X, it's working. You guys don't hear audio because it's on my headset. Down, up. It is working. Sometimes it can be a little bit glitchy with the way that it works, but those options can most definitely be adjusted. So combat. And what worked for me in this process was number one, using it wired. So use it wired. Number two was DS4 Windows download. So download that and it'll work for sure. Number three is uninstalling and reinstalling everything in MUVR. If your controller is not working, it's acting funky. Like for me, it was the select and the share button. They were acting all funky. So I had to remove it and reinstall it. And I think that's what the MUVR website tells you to, to do when um, nothing's working properly. And then it should work properly. You'll enjoy your games, your emulations. Um, as far as setting up your room, it's pretty easy. So what you want to do, and I'll just throw this as a bonus in there. Um, you want to go to stop. Okay. If you want to go to MUVR, go to custom, go to posters, and then you want to go on examples. You want to see the shapes. Sorry, I have a great Hi. stuff in here. But um, it's going to show you shapes of specific posters. You want to use those specific shapes according to what photos you want to upload on there. So if it's a 
landscape photo, you want to use landscape. You don't want to use portrait on a landscape photo. It'll just stretch it out and diminish the quality of the um, of the image. So just keep that in mind when you're editing your room. That's going to be it for the video. I love you guys. If this helped you out, drop a like below. Drop a comment below. What's your favorite emulator for the PlayStation 2? I love Mortal Kombat Armageddon. We'll never get rid of that game. Let me know what you guys think. I love you guys. And God loves you too. Peace out.